Good evening, everybody, and good evening, Governor Evers. My name is Paul Capaldi. I am a peripatetic music teacher from Scotland, from the Scottish borders. I stand to gain absolutely nothing, either personally, financially, or politically, from the exonerations of Brendan Dassey and Stephen Avery. So you can choose to listen to me, or hmm, you could choose to listen to Ken Kratz. Um, unlike myself, Ken Kratz is a cheating, lying, predatory, former sweaty district attorney of Calumet County. Everything that he says, you can simply throw away. He is what is known as a legal stain. Famously, Pete Bates once said in an interview that Ken Kratz is an arrogant son of a bitch, and you can quote me on that. In actual fact, sadly, he is far worse than that. He considered himself the prize. He was the elected district attorney of Calumet County, a salary in excess of $100,000 a year. He had the nice house. He had a career ahead of him. He was hoping to run for Congress. I wonder how many people he had to use the modern parlance shafted to get where he was. He was the chairperson of the Victim Rights Support Group. That sounds like somebody appointing the fox in charge of the hen house. One wonders how many victims he was able to choose from that position. Knowing what I do about Ken Kratz, I would suggest that with his character, <laughs> charm and dignity, only somebody with very low esteem would find him attractive and wish to be seen in public with him. He is a pathetic individual. Having convicted Steve and Brendan, being the elected official, he decided that he was omnipotent. He could do whatever he wanted with whomever he wanted, whenever he wanted. You know, Governor Evers, 15 women came forward and reported Ken Kratz to the Department of Justice. They investigated 15 cases of women who came forward. You know, Gregory Allen, despicable though he was, attacked women armed with a knife. Ken Kratz, on the, other, on the other hand, attacked women armed with his personification as the law in Wisconsin. However, surprisingly, Gregory Allen displayed some integrity when he led to the 95 phone call to Andrew Coleman. Allen, Gregory Allen, knew that what he was doing was wrong, that he would one day have to pay for his actions. Whereas Ken Kratz knew that he enjoyed immunity from his actions. He was the embodiment of law enforcement. He could do as he pleased. Making a murderer exposed him. He tried to cover up. He immediately sent emails to various medias. Usually about nine to 16 items, including, as he alleged, the fact that Theresa Halbach was lured to Stephen Avery's property. Complete and utter nonsense. Theresa Holbach even gave 
Stephen Avery her personal phone number. He claims that Stephen Avery had designs in his mind to do with women. He alleges that certain snitches came forward with such information. They have since been proven to be liars. We hear that Stephen Avery was convicted of cruelty to a cat. That, yeah, pretty despicable, but pales into significance when you consider that Wiegert and Fassbender under Kratz's instructions dug a big hole in which Kratz could bury Stephen and Brendan alive. Bye for now.